An effort to scale the Ethereum blockchain is a very popular one, and scale is one of the many potential solutions. Scale is an Ethereum compatible network with a leaderless consensus designed to run on an uncapped number of independent nodes, each of which will be providing resources to multiple high performance decentralized elastic blockchains. Scale chains are configurable application specific blockchains, often called dynamic shards or horizontal scaling, that exist on layer above the Ethereum blockchain. Developers can rent scale chains that each act as a private Ethereum compatible smart contract platform with faster block times and the ability to process more transactions per second. And oh, there is no gas fees. You are welcome to Investor's Vibe. If this is your first time, we take a detailed approach to cryptocurrencies, market analysis, and trends. If you are interested in this space, then subscribe and hit on the notification bell to not miss an update and analysis. This will also help the channel, so thank you for doing that. Back to scale. The network's modular protocol allows developers to highly configure blockchains which provide the benefit of decentralization without compromising on computation, storage, or security. The history of Skill. It was created in January 2018 by Stan Kladko and Jack Onerin. They received support and seed backing from Signa Ventures and Floodgate. It now has some of the big names in crypto venture funding as backers. Names include Wankervoss Capital, Galaxy Digital, Multiquen Capital, Arrington XRP Capital, Hashed, and even Consensus Labs. This is how Scale stands against most of the scaling solutions that are trying to solve the Ethereum scaling problem. It is a standalone blockchain with all the features of a public DLT network, but unlike other blockchains such as EOS and Cardano, it uses the EVM the Ethereum virtual machine as a settlement layer. About its consensus, it uses leaderless consensus. The scale consensus protocol implements a protocol whereby all virtualized subnodes are able to propose blocks and only those which receive a super majority of signatures, that's a threshold, are eligible to be accepted for potential commitment to the blockchain. It uses random selection and node rotation approach to also improve network security. This is called random rotation incentive scaling. There are some key features of the scaling network that you have to be aware of. Like I already said, it has zero to near zero gas fees. Then it uses random node selection and frequent node rotation. It also virtualized subnodes, containerized validator nodes, Consensus via Asynchronous Binary Byzantine Agreement, ABBA, BLS, Node Monitoring, and like I said, Ethereum Interoperability. The scale SKL token is an ERC-777, a utility token based on the Ethereum network. The token launched a couple of weeks ago. The tokens were locked and staked for 60 days after the public sales ended. And now it's trading at around 83 cents and has hit its highest price of around 15 cents. So that was about 5x for people who contributed in the ICO because it was around 3 cents. The token is used on the network by one, validators. Validators need a token to run those and earn rewards in a form of fees and tokens via inflation. Delegators, people that have the token but do not want to run nodes themselves or don't, do not have what it takes like the technical expertise or the hardware needed to run nodes can delegate their tokens to validators and also earn some rewards. Lastly, developers or users need the token to rent resources like storage, bandwidth, computation for a predetermined amount of time in the form of an elastic sidechain. A very big concern I have about the SKL token and maybe the scale network at large as an investor is the token release schedule. The total supply at Genesis was 4.1 billion. Then about that, there will be a maximum of 7 billion tokens. Out of the 4.1 billion Genesis supply, 
only 564 million tokens are in circulation right now. And the inflation is very high moving forward. Six months after mainnet launch, the circulating supply will increase to over 921 million tokens, representing 18.89% of total supply. Nine months later, after the mainnet launch, circulating supply is going to increase to 1.2 billion tokens, representing 24%. And I think from the sixth month to the ninth month, it's not that too bad. I understand that. But the next token release will increase circulating supply to almost 2.5 billion tokens, representing over 46% over of supply. This means in one year after mainnet launch, circulating supply is going to increase from 564,166,667, a 13.42% of total supply, to 2,345,495,609. That's that is 46.22%. And the main launch was in October 1st and not December 1st when the token started trading. So now we have few months to that one year threshold and the supply is going to increase from 13% of total supply to 46.22%. That is a very big increase. So now the big question I have is, will the high increase in supply meet a higher demand for the tokens? Because if it does, then it won't be that bad. But if it doesn't, then it's going to, I think it's going to impact the price heavily. So even though the token release schedule is something to think about, I think there are also some positive things about the scale network. And I think one of those that stand out is scale has a team that has already built successful businesses. And with the big names backing them, it's only logical to believe that you're going to make an impact in this new and exciting space. Like Marco Sanchez, head of communications wrote in the Telegram post, he said, the team is working hard to get the apps onboarded and integrations finished, as well as market the network to the world and broaden awareness, which we, na which we know affects interest in the token. If the projects in the scale ecosystem starts to develop and deploy on the network then we can see the value of the token going up because the token is needed to run the blockchain so this is everything i wanted to talk to you about guys i hope this video has answered a lot of questions you had about scale network if it did please subscribe and like the video if it did not go ahead and ask me in the comment section and i think some other community members might even get involved in answering your questions for you so guys, my name is Philip, here's Investors Vibe, and like I always say, good luck out there.